I may have done something stupid. I wanted to convert my 3x8 setup to a 1x8. Now I know the climbing ratio is not going to be good, but hey, a 1x8 looks sleek and adds to the simplified look of a hardtail. As we get farther and farther into this video, you'll notice that I'm no professional mechanic. I'm just a dumb mountain biker who likes to tinker with his toys. And I know what you're thinking. For Christ's sake, he's using a multi-tool for everything. Well, follow along at your own risk. The reason I'm not saying much is only because this is a pretty simple job. I mean myself, I'm decent with hand tools, but I have no bike mechanic experience whatsoever. So there's really not a whole lot to say during this video, just try to watch and follow along. Basically, we're trying to get the second cog off, so that way we can put the new chain ring on. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, I want to thank you, because you're probably thinking, what the heck is this guy doing? Well, I had to buy some lock washers and flatten them out. This is going to help fill the void where the biggest cog was mounted up to my crank set. You'll see in just a second after I show you how I'm mounting it. Now what you're seeing here is I have to spread the lock washer just enough to where my grommet will fit in there snugly. Okay, and if it won't fit, simply get it placed and you can use a hammer to get it the rest of the way through. Now, if you're like me, a total cheap ass, you would do it this way too. But they do make smaller grommets that's going to fit a one by setup. So keep that in mind when you're ordering your one by chain ring. Look for those smaller grommets. If you want to know the torque specs on these bolts, I suggest checking out the Park Tool channel. I bet they can tell you everything and the proper way to do it. Now, I'm just showing you how to convert my 3x to a 1x. Not saying that you have to follow along, but hey, I hope it's entertaining. Like I said before, the only reason why I wanted to do a one by setup because of the simplicity and honestly, you drop some weight. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is a one by 8 a stupid idea?
I decided to leave this next part for the end. Every YouTube video I watched said to do this first, and I can't in my head figure out why. Because nobody likes taking handlebar grips off. After this step, you're pretty well done. I have to say, I would do a quick review on the Topeak Multi-Tool for holding up to all of this. This concludes another episode right here on OHP. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Absolutely loved it? Let us know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.